in this video I want to show you how to build a, a floating raft uh, growing bed for aquaponics system so even hydroponics if you're not into aquaponics uh, now the first thing that you need to have is a recipient a, a vessel where you can actually put it in this case I went to a home improvement store and I got um, this container that is you know it's kind of perfect for what we want and what we're going to do is first we're going to do some perforations perforate in each side so we can actually um, have water uh, coming in through, you know, through the intake and the outflow over there on the other side. Uh, we're also going to cut a two-inch styrofoam bore to fit into this place, actually taking a little bit of a space from where our, our connections are going to be so the water actually can flow and then go to the other side and continue. This is going to be a floating raft again. So our plants are going to be... Um, partially submerge all the time into the water these are plants that are meant to resist like like lettuce uh, to resist water constantly there are some other uh, plants that will need um, a, a fluctuation of water so for that you, you will need to use probably a bell siphon or, or you know any other um, methods that I probably will be teaching you as well so we're gonna start by cutting our bore and fitting it over here okay of the size of the raft and this case is 20 by 31 inches and I'm gonna proceed to cut it with a regular circular saw and then we're gonna make the holes the holes must be um, equal to to the size of the plants that we want to to grow in them in other words I suggest you to if you're gonna plant lettuces probably about 10 inches apart so they can actually grow in full stand if you're gonna grow something bigger or something smaller, you refer to the size of the of the plant on the on the seed uh, packages, or you know, or just by your experience. In the two inch uh, so bit, um, I got our our holes already here uh, for the plants. Again, I want from you know from the beginning. I left all this space just for the strength of my raft. Uh, obviously they're gonna be overhanging so so I don't need to like bring it to the center uh, but in the middle I left them like that so we end up with one two three four five six eighteen plants over here that can grow easily they're you know they can be big in this case I'm using um, you know I'm gonna probably plant lettuce and and other type of um, plants that can you know that need some space so that's pretty much it for, for this one, but I'm going to make several rafts and several systems so they all will have different spaces. Now, uh, here we are. We have the raft built, made already for our purpose. We have uh, some, uh, actually some, some, some play over here so we can um, remove it or actually install the, the, the supply line and the return line to, to our tanks or filters or whatever one. I uh, notice that our little net caps are actually just, you know, perfectly installed over there. And they're barely um, scratching the bottom. That's that's good, I mean, because it's gonna maintain the our roots moist when I completely submerge in this case. And although they can, they can survive that way, uh, there are different type of uh, plants that will have more resistance than others. And I just wanna expose it a little bit to water. Now, um, if you want, you can make them bigger, like I said, three inch version and plant something a little bigger. Or like in, in the different setups that I'm building, you can uh, create one that is just uh, fluctuating water back and forth, meaning that it will fill up and then dispose of water and discharge of water naturally or by gravity or mechanically, however you want to call it. But we're going to make some perforations, one in one side, one in the other. And, and actually one on the bottom just to keep it draining whenever we, we need to service it or whatever. So you don't need to lift the entire thing up and whatever. You just need to flush it out a little bit. And that's how we continue. And um, the lesson of thinking that people or assuming that people understood everything that I was doing. And sometimes I get that frustration with some of the videos that I check on YouTube. And that's why I'm encouraged to do these videos. Now, um, this is the part that, that I was um, really kind of sad about. Um, 
when we are connecting this this plumbing fixtures uh, sometimes you i mean you're not able to understand which type of seal you can get i mean they sell some sort of like a bulkhead type of drain you know uh, seals or whatever features or fixtures or fittings or however you want to call them but they're they're fairly expensive and for the common average person like me <laughs> Uh, if I'm able to get away around it, it's perfect. So, I wanna I wanna give you my little uh, tip about about how to put this thing together. See, this I just cut it with a utility knife, but this is is called a a a um a um uh, toilet fill valve gasket. These things are really inexpensive in a plumbing supply store. I try to go to find them in, in a regular home improvement like Lowe's or Home Depot or Ace or whatever. It's really, really hard to find it. You just actually have to get to a specialized plumbing place and you just ask for them. You know, you, you got to tell them, look, I need the washer that goes on the bottom of my field valve tank on the toilet. And they will give you this one. So they maybe have different kinds that don't need to go through. This one's a little bit thicker. So I cut it in half and it actually helps for both. So what I did is that here where I'm putting the drain see let me see here where I'm putting my drain uh, from the inside I actually you know this one is half of it so I'm gonna put it over there and then I uh, I'm gonna screw it with a, a vice grip you know like this this thing or you know like an adjustable wrench or whatever whatever you find just just don't don't tie it too much don't go crazy um, because you will damage the plastic threads so that's what we're gonna have we have an inlet we have an outlet or vice versa and we have a drain line now for the drain line you can use this nice wall valve that is uh, fairly expensive i will say like you know a little less than eight dollars i guess with taxes or you can use just like a regular pvc plug you know i mean there are plenty of ways so you can actually connect this so interconnect it like in a, a triple filter thing that i made you can interconnect it um, to one single valve however you want it that's to rinse it out to kind of maybe you can just move the water whenever it's kind of you know dirty and then open the valve so or open the little you know outlet so you can actually clean it and service it and not to like dump the entire thing or just get you know a I don't know a bucket or a pot or a cap to pull it out but anyway those are the things while we're building our our, our raft floating raft little mini floating raft it's not that mini because i mean if you think it over you know plenty of little plants that you can actually put there but you can make it like in three inches version like i said so so this is this is it i mean i'll show you in a moment a simple setup okay now we have the final stage of our floating raft for aquaponic system so sometimes actually hydroponic system so vermiputic system so whatever you want to call it but i'm working with aquaponics uh, meaning that i'm using fish uh, as my uh, source of nutrients for my my plants right so we have you know a good amount of uh, of holes over here to you know with good distance in between of them so we our plants will grow really nice um we have a system that has a water intake and you know now go over there and we have a, a drain uh, a drain with um, you know all of them have some little rubber gaskets that I explained already um, and you can actually attach your draining system to whatever you want in any configuration you want You're straight to a valve or with a cap or however you want to do it I suggest you to put it away from from your bed so you know you don't splatter water everywhere but anyway you can do whatever you want um, I also want to show you that not just the two inch version but the, the, the three inch version of the neck caps can actually be acquired in good quantities you can buy them you know on ebay or whatever you want um but they're they're really really helpful for that um you know you can use sometimes like media like like river uh, uh river wash rocks or spend the clay or volcanic rock or where there are so many different things that you can use in fact i'm experimenting with some shredded uh milk and you know just use bottle uh, plastic you know since that is like a food grade um plastic maybe I, I can make a grow bed out of that but that's another story another video another chapter thank you so much i hope you like um this video if you have any questions please uh, or comments please let them you know make them i will be happy to assist you as much as i can and later on i will show you some progress of how they're growing right now i have all my 
um, starting seeds or you know the greenhouse actually blooming all the little seeds so later on I will show you how it works thank you so much and have a good day